shared in this European Ryan Masters final. O'Sullivan breaks off in the third, hoping to regain the advantage. If you include the Championship League earlier this year, this is the sixth final they've played. And Trump has won three of the first five. Yeah, that was a half chance for Judd there as well. If today's match is anything like the first final they ever contested, we're in for a treat. That was in Antwerp, Belgium, in a European Tour event in 2011. Tremp won that one 4-3. It was a classic. And at the end, a packed audience gave them both a standing ovation and a fully deserved standing ovation at that. Wonderful snooker. Frames over in the blink of an eye. Trump also beat O'Sullivan 10-7 in the final of last year's World Grand Prix after trailing 4-1 and 7-4. Short of pace there, though. This is a, a chance. Came across it. That could land over the middle. Still has one to this right corner. Well, he was knocking those in for fun yesterday. On a touch far, if anything, I mean, he was open to be straight on this red to get onto the black, and he got a, a trace of side on the white. Well, that was handy, Six. being able to get through the gap there, so he could come down for the blue or the yellow. Plenty of reds in the open, but it's one of those situations where you have to keep tight control of the cue ball. Uh, will he be sitting in that chair for some time? Oh, that's, sure, that's careless. Six. Concentrated so much on the cannon, he's taken his eye off the pot. Yes, the age-old mental lapse of thinking so much about position and in your mind giving yourself a pot. One. It's happened on countless occasions, and it will happen on countless more. Well, Ronnie has the opportunity Six. here to bring the black into play, which will help. Seven. Well, these should have been Judd's. This is the blue that went astray, just caught the, the left-hand jaw, refused to drop, and that could be really expensive. It should be really expensive.
what this means, Phil, but noticeable this week, Ronnie's tempo around and at the table is slightly <laughs> slowed. Taking more care. We know how 31. long it takes for him to knock in a 70 or 80, no time at all, but it just seems to be taking a lot more care. It, as you said, it, it didn't have the, the graces of starts, and as you mentioned there, but he's looking to build. A chance to lead 2-1. But it's, no, I think he's just, I say, he's just a little bit slow around the table, just giving himself some more thinking time. 39. <clears throat> Still great to watch. Well, there you go, but it's still 17 seconds. Amazing, isn't it? And Judd's at 16. 46. I can't see it moving from those two numbers all day. to go into them. He's been a little bit unlucky to finish there. OK, <laughs> there is a red that's on, but this is tough. If he gets a good split, it's frame over. Now, does he have the angle here to pop the red and run into the black? Nope. This needs perfect queuing. Oh. Couldn't get high in the black. In fact, I don't think he's on it. I think that's end of break. And the problem he's got now is the red that's near the corner pocket. He's going to have to hide it. Yes, that was a superb red. He deserved more than he got. Yeah, it, any, any sort of pot on the black would have been fine. Green ball. Got to get this right. Otherwise, Judd could counter. Don't Ronnie think he has, you know. 53. I think he's left it. 53, but it might not be enough. Yeah, Ronnie was trying to cover that red with the yellow, didn't manage it. And, uh, well, Judd could strike here. There's that's only one sorry, obvious problem ball on the table, Mike, and that's the, yeah. the red on the top cushion. I but even then, it shouldn't be a problem if the necessary position is obtained. Yeah, mind him behind it. A couple of inches off the cushion. Six. Well, we know what these two are about, Phil, and it's got to be said in as much that I don't think they're going to be turning much down, do you? You know, if there's a red on, they're going to take it on. Thirteen. It's going to be about that last red. But again, riding behind it, 20. a couple of inches off the cushion would be perfect. All you have to do is just drop them in for the black. 21. Don't think you'll play the cannon, especially not from there. <laughs> There's always the other option. You can leave the white high and lay the snooker. But he's going for the frame here. 28. But we've seen plenty of these rattle down the years. 29. Not this time. Oh, that's kicked. That was a definite kick. The black has gone across the table. What a time to get a kick. And that was a thumping contact. Look at this. Just straightened like you wouldn't believe. Defied the laws of physics.
Jackson. Well, it wouldn't have been so bad if he wasn't playing dead on the yellow, but Ronnie's not played that very well. Let's have a look at this. I mean, straight across the table. Horrendous. Oh, great pot. Couldn't hold for the brown, though. But it didn't matter because he's 23 the lead. That was frame ball. That kick has cost Judd this frame. Well, I think so at the moment. He needs one snooker. He'll come back. Ronnie O'Sullivan, five. Well, one of those one of those Sullivan's great traits is being able to pot difficult frame balls. He's just done that there. One of Trump's great traits is being able to lay snookers. Seen him trap opponents with absolute crackers over the years, but he must be feeling rather down at the moment. And he hasn't got the cue ball in behind the pink, so if this goes in, it's uh, it's two one to run it. Oh. Well, you've got to feel for Judd there because he had the frame at his mercy and through no fault of his own, he's got a massive kick on the black and it's cost him. Trump needed two snookers with three colours left, decided enough was enough. He had a kick on the black and then it was a, a kick in the teeth. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 2-1 ahead. Fourth frame, Judd trying to break. As the referee Marcel Eckhart just said, this is the fourth frame of a possible 17. Still early days, but psychologically, this is now quite a big one. If O'Sullivan can press home the advantage and take a 3-1 lead, it's an early mini crisis for Trump. Well, again, that was a half chance and uh, a chance for, for Judd here then. A 15 minute interval after this frame. Just came across it. Well, there's a long pot success. Well, 33%. When's the last time you saw that from Ronnie? And he's long pot and he's been really good this week. Mm, just a little bit of disturbance in the background there. That's why Judd's just backed away. Yeah, he's been knocking uh, the long stuff in. Not today so far. <laughs> well, a chance then for for Judd to level the match into the interval. And in some ways, I think that, that would be a little bit of justice done, actually, f considering the kick he had on that black. That was horrendous. Well, Trump, thanks to potting several really good pots in the first frame, Four. was in command of that one. He could have pinched the third. He did win the second, so quite conceivably, instead of being behind, he could be 3-0 ahead. Five. Wanted a little bit more on the cue ball there, though. He, he wanted to be straight on this pink. I don't know where the next red's coming from, unless he plays on the one just above the black. Across the table with the cue ball. Gone around the table. Needs to avoid the colours, and he's done it beautifully. He's on this bottom red. But what about that for a shot? Oh. Brilliant. I'm not being funny, Phil, but these two boys have got too much talent between them. They should share it out a bit. <laughs> Give it to other people. Give them 5% each and share it around. That was a great shot. Thank you. 11. Well. Not sure if the red above the black goes to the right corner. He's checking one a little bit high up the table. The one that's the black would be ideal if, if, if it goes. I think he'll come down the left-hand side. And there's also the other one through the gap. That looks pretty good to me. He's on the red right of the black. Perfect. Well, it doesn't go, but you can play it into the left corner now. Open up the black spot. Well, if Judd can just knock in a 70 or 80 here, get into the interval at 2-all, he'll be quite happy with that. 
He'll forget about the first frame that he should have won, which Phil has mentioned, and also that kick in the PNB previous frame. 26. Not been going an hour yet, Phil. Some stuff, isn't it? Well, I said last night it was hard to make predictions. One thing we could say with absolute confidence, this was never going to be slow. Now, he's purposely left himself high on this red to split other reds, open them up, get himself onto a colour. He, he might be able to push the pink into the open here. <coughs> no, nope, missed that. Hang on, calling all pockets. He nearly got three reds there. <laughs> Not, uh, not good. Wanted to be past the blue. He has 36. a red on the right hand side there. Well, he can attempt the pot and take the cue ball back into bulk for safety. Well, he didn't take it into bulk, he decided to play on one. What a pot that is. Brilliant recovery. He's given himself the chance to win the frame. I love it when he's in this mood, Phil. When he goes into the pack, it's that harem scare and snooker, isn't it? It's brilliant to watch. Both, both these players are always looking to get the pack open early if they can. 42. Well, it's looking like 2-2 at the interval, if just can just mind his work here. And don't get a horrendous kick at the wrong moment. <coughs> Once more, looking to just avoid the blue there. It's OK. Oh, don't go in. Foul. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well there. Well there, he could have done with a, a kick on the black. To keep it out. Imagine if Ronnie wins from here. Well, wins his frame. One. This has got echoes of Ronnie O'Sullivan's match against Mark Seven. Allen in the last 16. Allen was off like a train in that one. Made a big century in the first. But O'Sullivan won the next two with clearances of 65 and 60 to win both on the black. He was two on ahead. He said at the time he got no right to be in front. 14. And if he's three one ahead, going into the interval here, I think he will have a, a similar emotion. Fifteen. as well, Philip. I mean, if Judd, if Judd had just put that opening frame away, that could have been all different. He might have just you know, built his confidence. I'm not saying it's not there already, but it 
does help if you get off to a, a good start. Yes, if he's looking for some kind of solace here, Trump, the red closest to the right-hand side cushion. That's semi-awkward, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I mean, we'll talk about the first frame, but, but Judd's been so unlucky. I mean, he's got a kick on the black and he's not to black in. 29. So it's, it's a crazy game at times. And this frame could revolve around this particular shot. We assume the pink's going to go in, but what about position on the last red? That's the crunch. Well, right in behind it, dead straight to the middle. Money's been, had a look at the angle. It's gone the other way. He's taken the risk factor out of it, and he's played it well. <laughs> yep, it was absolutely perfect. <laughs> well, it's looking like 3-1, but let's be honest, it really should have been two apiece. 42. Didn't get into the pink as he wanted to, though, so pressure on this yellow. 44. Played it well. <laughs> he needs green, brown and blue to lead 3-1 at the first interval. 47. Some of the crowd weren't sure whether the brown would reach. Of course it did. Well, not this one as well, because it just starts coming back to the table to play snookers. Tell you what, that white was close. <laughs> Ronnie O'Sullivan, 3-1 ahead at the mid-session interval. Talk about against the run of play, that was smash and grab. Trump must be thinking, what have I done to deserve that?